Okay, so hey guys, today I'm going to be replacing the screen of a HP ProBook 6570B. So, first of all, what you would like to remove is those little rubber things that cover the screws. Now, I've already removed them because I already disassembled this computer. And afterwards, what you would like to do is unscrew these two little screws here and here okay next I'm gonna go and grab a flat screwdriver this and what I would like to do is pop out the screen because it's kind of like stuck in there now of course it's easier for me to remove it because it's not my first time but first it's gonna be a bit harder so what you would like to do is you know go a little bit on the side here and then push and then you're just gonna pop it straight open like that and then you're gonna just go on the side and you know keep on just popping it up like that Okay, there you go. So now we can see the screen. So I'm just gonna power on the PC so that you can see that the screen doesn't work. Here it is. Okay. So I'm gonna remove the power plug because I don't want to accidentally turn it on when I'm, you know, changing the screen. So. Get my screwdriver ready. Yeah, there it is. Ah, there she goes. Um, so yeah, you have three screws on both those sides here that you want to remove, and one screw, uh, two screws on the top. So we're gonna remove those. Okay, now that you're done with removing those screws, you'd like to pull a little the panel so you can access, access the screws on the side here and here. So now I'm just gonna remove those screws real quick. Here goes the first side, and then now turn it around. Okay, so now I should be able to disconnect the screen. Now here there's a little sticker. What you would like to do is, you know, remove it, but I just cut it. And then you like to gently pull the plug out, like that, and then remove the screen.
So here's the new screen that I got. It was rather cheap, 100 bucks. It isn't too bad. So it even has a protector here so that you don't scratch it. Now I won't need this. Okay. Now we're gonna plug back in the screen. And test it to see if it works. Let's power it on. Oh, and it works. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna shut this down. Now, we need to put it, put it back in its frame, like this. Oh, and yeah, of course, disconnect the power. And we're just gonna screw those screws back in. Now let's do the other side. And now we're gonna screw those bottom screws up. It doesn't really matter which ones you use, as long as they're black, the black screws. The white screws are specifically for the side. Okay, sorry guys if the camera angle is a bit different, my camera fell off so I had to put it back. So now we're going to screw the last bottom screw and screw the two top screws over here. Okay, now that that's done, we're just gonna put the frame, well, I have a protector on here. Okay, so there are those little clips, you need to make sure to slide it in like that. There you go. Okay, and then what you'll do is just, you know, push on the side until everything becomes equal you know the sides become equal and there's no bumps make sure that there's no bumps okay.
Okay, and now you would just want to screw those two last screws on the bottom. And then put back on those little rubber thingies on the side. Um, if they don't stick, I would propose you to use some glue. Now that's some what I'm gonna do. And now uh, I'm just gonna plug back in the computer so we can see if it still works. And everything seems to be fine as you can see. So yeah, this was the tutorial about how to install a screen for a ProBook 6570B. So I bought my laptop screen at laptopscreens.com. Uh, like I said, it was uh, around 100 bucks, pretty cheap if you ask me, and that's including shipping and taxes and everything. So yeah, that about wraps it up.